On this episode of Paint Society, we're going to show you how to replace a door on a beautiful Acura MDX. We'll show you the steps behind sealing and painting a brand new part and getting it fit back up to the vehicle. We'll take you through the different steps of blending the paint and making this look like an OEM paint job. Welcome back to another episode of Paint Society. Now for this particular vehicle, we're going to be replacing the door. You can see it's got some heavy damage. Let me show you a little bit closer what we're looking at. And pretty much this is what we have going on here. So we wrote all this stuff for insurance and a job like this requires a lot. So for instance, uh, even though we're replacing the door, we gotta blend this, we gotta blend the color, we gotta blend into our front door. We have to replace these trims because as soon as you take them off, they bust open. Uh, on the new door, we have to replace all these trims. The window's gotta be pulled. Um, and then we have to drop the bumper, tail light, all that stuff to get proper refinished. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a test fit. We're gonna make sure everything is uh, functioning properly. Luckily, there is no frame damage. We looked underneath already, we're good to go. So it's just a door replacement and that will take care of this job. And we're gonna bring it in right now. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do in any repair process is to do the test fit. So on this particular door, we're gonna pull it off and then we're gonna pop the new one on, which is right here, it's the OEM door. Uh, and we're gonna make sure everything fits, everything aligns, and we'll pull it back off so we can paint the inside, pop it back on a car to paint everything all together. So let's get to it. So with the help of Diaz, we were able to get the door on and now we can see it's got good functionality. Our gap is original because the actual um, hinges were never moved. So if you come over here, you'll see where it bolted in. We just bolted it in from this side, all the OEM locations. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take it off and uh, once we get it off, we'll scuff it up and then we'll get it back into the booth. We'll cut it in, put it back on the car. Well, we're back here the next day and you can see we have the door removed and the window. As you can see, when the window was removed, they use a series of different pry tools to get underneath to break that seal and to get it out. Now on a newer vehicle, uh, and especially when we're gonna be putting color here, you wanna remove that. There is trim tape that you can get under it, uh, but not on this particular one. It, the gap was sitting right on the paint and uh, it had to be removed, especially if you wanna warranty your jobs. Insurance pays for it anyway. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you into the booth and show you what I do in regards to painting the door. So when I do a new door, what I like to do is I like to paint everything at once, but I don't paint it while I paint the car. See, it might take a little bit longer, but I will paint this whole entire door, then put it back on the car, and then paint everything together just to make sure everything matches. Now, some painters will say, well, that's a little bit silly. It's gonna be fine. And that might be fine too, but I've been burned before where I painted a uh, blue fender or a door and you know it didn't have enough coats. And when I went to go mount it onto the car, well, it didn't match. So I like to visually see how do my panels look? So we have to go ahead and paint underneath and inside. And we'll do that all at once. We're using the Easy Flex stand will allows it so we'll put our uh, sealer down we'll put our ba uh, base coat down and then we're just going to put one coat of clear uh, one coat of clear is all you really need inside of here and uh, on the outside of the door and then we'll put it back onto the vehicle sand it down so let's get this thing all jammed in right now
after one coat of clear, it's all good to go. We were able to get access to all the inside interior pieces, really making a perimeter around the back shell of the door where the door panel covers, making sure that we're painting everywhere that's gonna be exposed. You don't wanna miss one of these areas and only realize it once it's installed. So I'll go ahead and let this dry overnight and then we'll go ahead and pop it on in the morning, scuff it back up, prepare the car for the lending. All right, so we got the door the next morning, and with the help of Miguel, we're gonna pop it back on. Let me get one more. So, see now it doesn't match. Right. It's because it doesn't have enough coats on it. Correct. You know, so. This is a lot lighter than 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the inside, I put more. Yeah. You can see how it's okay. the right shade. Beautiful. So, yep. We're good to go, thanks man. And we can see that the door is on and much lighter. Well, that's on purpose. It doesn't have full coverage. We only did about two coats on the front here. But on the inside, we did do full coverage because we wanna make sure it matches the rest of the vehicle. Now, since we're gonna be painting the whole entire thing, we don't have to worry. It's gonna blend nicely and we'll have good coverage on all of our panels. And that's tricky with blue, red, and those lighter colors that just don't cover well. So that's something you might wanna know when you're going to paint because if we had painted this off the car right and we thought that it was the right color when we go to put it back on it looked just like this and that's not good and this is exactly why I paint everything together And we got it all back together. Now, this is the first time of me doing one of these newer MDXs, and they actually go together fairly well. Um, the window went in, we have to remove all the components in order for everything to fit in properly, but it looks just like factory. You can see over on this door over here, it's got the similar look on the inside where it doesn't have a whole lot of paint, but uh, it's good to go. We'll tie these in at the end since we'll be doing full quarter panel wrapping it all around to the A panel. So we'll put these back on later. A lot of these clips are just one time use, so we'll have to order some more clips. On the actual door handle itself, they're trying to get me to repair this. And uh, with the sensor, not a good idea. So we put in for a replacement on this one as well. Now that the door is all together, it's time to start the rest of the disassembly. We're gonna go ahead and drop down this bumper, remove this tail light. We have a lot of different trim here and there. And we move across to the front door. We'll have to remove that front door panel because we're gonna have to remove a door handle. We're getting a new trim because it's one time. Uh, we have to remove the mirror, all the moldings to get a full factory refinish and wrap our clear around all those edges. Let's get started. And that's gonna conclude this episode on part one of how to get the door replaced and switch all the components and how I cut it in. Now, keep in mind, when you watch videos from me, there's more ways to do it than the way I do. It's just the way I do it and hopefully it will help you out. Now, make sure you stay tuned for part two, which will be the final episode in this mini series, which will show you how to do the scuffing of the paint, how to get it all nice and smooth and get it prepared for paint. Then we'll take you through getting it taped up and then finally the painting process to blend out the color into the existing paint for a beautiful factory finish. If you learned something from this video and want to support the channel, head over to paintsocietystore.com. Also, make sure you check us out on Instagram, paint.society. 
Guys, this is Brian from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it, it's just paint. I'll see you guys on the next one.